Hello, my name is Mark. Welcome to my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Um, many of you that know me know that we've been going through this trailer and making serious upgrades and uh, maintenance, repairs, that kind of stuff. Great little trailer. Today I found something that is very disturbing to me. Um, I, in the past I've been very um, forgiving on uh, new camp, you know, the issue of the air conditioner being in a cabinet, you know, all those design issues that they've got. And I've been able to get around those, but today we found one that's, that may be, um, maybe a showstopper for me. I don't know. Um, but we'll work on it. And I wanted some feedback from you guys to find out if this is common to all of these trailers or if it's just mine. So what I'd like you to do is take a tape measure and if you look at this wheel well I noticed when I was changing my wheel bearings or wheel bearings out and repacking them that uh, one of the wheels comes off easier than the other and I'm like what's up with that so today I'm gonna put that um, tape measure against that sidewall and you see there let's see if I can get that for you I that wheel from the edge of the fender to the sidewall is four inches. Let's walk around to the other side. This is the wheel that's hard to get off. And check this out. That wheel is only two and a half inches. So what we've got going on here, what we've got going on is that that axle is that way <laughs> it's not centered the, the, the body the wheels are not centered under this body so I look a little closer I'll get a piece of cardboard so I don't have to lay in the gravel and I started to wonder why that is so let's climb under and take a look now underneath this is the body. It's gonna be hard to video here. This is the body and this is the frame. And you see how I've got about, oh, I've got almost two inches between the body and the frame. The frame is back that direction, about two inches that direction. Let's go look at the other side. We'll walk around. Here we are at the other side. And look at that. The body and the frame are flush. This trailer box, the box of the trailer, is hasn't been put on this frame square. It's not been this body's not been put on this frame even. It's this direction, two inches. So now that's not a big deal. Except for the fact that when you look, look up in there, look at the gap between the inside of my fender well and my tire. I've got a good three inches in there, two, three inches, plenty of space. But let's go back and look at the other side. Here we are on the other side and look up in there. I hope you can see that. My wheel is almost, it's like an eighth of an inch, almost in direct contact with my, with my wheel well. The sidewall of this wheel is in almost direct contact with that because this wheel and the other wheel have been mounted that direction too much. It's not centered like it should be. Well, this, these are called torsion tube axles. And as they wear, um, they have a tendency to lean in. You know, as the rubber inside that torsion tube gets old, they have a tendency to lean in. So as my axle wears naturally, as it just wears older and older, I'm going to start to rub on there, and probably very soon. So I've got a dilemma here. Let's climb out. I've got a real dilemma here. 
my axle is is not new so i could contact dexter and have them make a new axle for me that is a little offset right that my axle would be a little offset to make up for this body not being mounted on the frame correctly or <laughs> and it's a really ugly one i lift the box completely off the frame whoosh, disconnect it and move it over like it should have been in the first place so what i would like from you guys fellow tabbers can you grab a tape measure for me and measure that distance between your sidewall of your tire and your fender for me on both sides and tell me what you find is your has your trailer box been mounted on the frame correctly or is it just me <laughs> thanks for your help on this um, i've got to as an engineer i've got to come up with a solution for it because i definitely don't want that sidewall starting to rub on my fender well that's a catastrophe waiting to happen i've got to do something about it um ugly anyway thanks for watching and leave a comment for me please